this January. You got style, that's what all the girls say. Go back in time to the 80s. Oh, love, oh, that 80s show, a new comedy series coming this January to Fox. This is the family jewels. As always, I am Drew. This is my co-host and my uncle Don. Big guy wearing a little jacket. Big guy in a little '70s coat. I love this thing. If it was bigger, I'd actually wear it in public. I'd embarrass the hell out of everybody that I was next to. Probably that works. I, I wouldn't go with you, but yeah, you can wear it yeah, in public. Sure, 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 sure. What are we doing today, Johnny? Well, today we're going to actually look at. That 90s show. show yeah. uh, a long time coming, I guess, you know. It's been 15 years since the original went off the air. Yeah, God, I can, uh, boy, talk about feeling old again. All right. And again, I'm the guy wearing this jacket. Eh, you know. So, yes, that is what we are doing today, the reboot of that 70s show, that 90s show. Yes, yes. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, as always. Uh, tight leather jacket. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Ring my bell, ring my bell. Hey, I got a 70s song put in there. <laughs> so that 90s show did come out this year. It is a new year. We are in 2023 now. It is rated TV 14, not, not PG 13, TV thank, 14. Thank God for that. Uh. It is a comedy, if you haven't guessed. Uh, each episode averages 25 minutes. It is currently only streaming on Netflix. It does currently have a 74% on Rotten Tomatoes. Again, we always say, don't go off that. Just throw it out Never. there as a baseline. Don't play with Rotten Tomatoes. They stink. Yeah, exactly. It's a nasty, nasty habit. Exactly. Most of them. Hey. Do you want to buy some tomatoes, man? <laughs> and this is the 70s. That's how they used to do it. What do you sell? Eight. Eight, like the number eight. Um, it is direct. Most of the episodes are directed by Gail Mancuso. Uh, she's done a lot of television shows over her career, but she has done a lot of Modern Family shows. Uh, modern I family do love episodes. my Modern Family. It turns out you can burn out by binge watching. Yeah. yeah. If I see another Modern Family, I... <laughs> They're going to be the family in the news. Um, All right. Mm. A couple episodes are actually uh, directed by Laura Preppen. Uh, she plays Donna. So a couple episodes she did actually direct. Oh, that um, beautiful woman. Mark Brazil, Bonnie and, Ta Bonnie and Terry Turner return as the producers. They are also the, the creators of the original. I don't think anybody would have come back if, if they weren't involved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so starring in, in that 90s show does bring in some newcomers but the legacy cast does return uh, Kurtwood Smith as Red he returns Deborah Jo Rupp as Kitty Topher Grace returns as Eric Laura Preppen as Donna Ashton Kutcher as Kelso Mila Kunis as Jackie Wilmer Valderrama as Fez Tommy Chong as Leo and Don Stark as Bob and then we also see newcomers and I mean newcomers. They are brand new. They are... Somebody found them rookies. under a Christmas tree. Yeah. They have no other acting credits. Uh, so we have Kaylee, Callie maybe, Haver, Haver Das. I, she plays uh, Leia, Eric and Donna's daughter. Ashley Af... Ashley Af... Avderhide. Avderhide. Uh, she plays the girl sure. next door. She plays Gwen. Uh, Mace Coronel as Jay. He plays uh, Jackie and Kelso's son. Rain Doy. He plays Ozzy. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. It also stars Sam Morelos as Nikki and Maxwell Donovan as Nate, Gwen's brother. Um, so the show centers on Leah Foreman. Uh, she is the daughter, teenage daughter of Eric Foreman and Donna Pinciotti. 
from the original show. Uh, she is forming new bonds as a teenager. She spends the summer of 1995 with her grandparents, Red and Kitty, in Point Place, Wisconsin, 15 years after the events of that 70s show. Yeah. That is spot on, baby. Yeah, can't yeah get, baby. You know, can't get more spot on than that. Yeah. Right? Oh my goodness. If I flash back too too much, I might just disappear. Right. It's like poof. Where Don go? He flashed back to the seventies, man. All right. Is that, is that yeah. poof? Uh, of this kind of. That's a puff. That's a <laughs> puff. Puff. Give. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ditchweed. Oh, best you can get. Um, so fun fact. Oh. Fun, fun fact. I always say fun fact. I always only give them one. Is fun it fact, fact? Facts. You can apostrophe. Fun, is, yeah, sure, sure. Fun fact. Fact slash. S this is going to make you feel old. None of the new central cast members were born yet when that 70s show first premiered. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's freaking mad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so all the newcomers. I'm glad I lost my hair because I freaking they turn gray right now. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. Wow. And then, okay. They're all bored. Okay, fun facts. Just to throw another one in there. If you didn't know, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher are actually really married and have kids in real life. So Jackie and Kelso actually did end up getting together. Okay, so are you going to do positives, or you want me to do positives? I'm going to let you go with the positives. Yeah, I mean, just because okay. I'm a little worried about how you're feeling about this, but that's okay. Okay. And he saw that it was good. Um, so my biggest positive is the return of the original Legacy cast, especially uh, Red and Kitty. I mean, they are by far the best thing. Oh, if they left them yeah. out, we would have been. They would have. They oh, would have worked. Yeah, if if in the show, you know, the the legacy cast is not prominent, except for Red and Kitty. And I think if they had tried to do that same thing with Red and Kitty, where they just kind of show up occasionally, oh, they yeah. would have. I mean, they are. Thank God they're in it. Thank God they're in it. They are by far the best. Just the funniest goddamn people. I, yeah. For for that type of show, oh my gosh, and, uh, and a reboot. And Fantastic. I, yeah, in a reboot especially, they work the best because their kids are now parents. So having them see the things that they went through with their kids, like that. It's going to happen to their kids. Exactly. Yeah, what yeah. they did to their kids is going to happen to their kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so they are yeah, by yeah. far the best. Um, I think I might have stole that from you. No, that's fine. That's fine. No, uh, my, my thing is, my thing is, I think what I love about Red and Kitty is uh, um, it's the That 90 Show. Okay, 90s technology over here. We have 70s technology over here. And Red and Kitty, they actually, the directors, whatever, they did it right. They they updated the house yeah. a little bit so it doesn't look like a 70s house. Right. And uh, there's something about the furniture that used to be in the house. The furniture, yeah, I don't know if that's a spoiler. Is it a spoiler? I don't know. If, I, don't I think mean, it's a spoiler. I think if it's you more, didn't know, if you, didn't you wouldn't know. know. I, think, yeah. I think it's a worth spoiler. I think it's a spoiler that's worth giving. I think you're right. The furniture upstairs... That was upstairs. That was upstairs. Red and Kitty's furniture yeah. is now in the basement because they bought new furniture. Because they updated because it's the and, 80s. And, yeah. Oh, God. That, yeah. That's a good... That's worth... That's, that was worth, that's worth... That was yeah. worth spoiling. There's, there's, yeah. There's little things in the show. That's one of them. If you don't realize it, but once you do it, you're like, oh, shit. That's the that's the furniture from the yeah, 70s show. Yeah. Like, and there's still wallpaper even, you know, in the yeah. kitchen. But it, it looks like the 90s. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I can remember the 90s. <laughs> Oh. Um, so conflicted. I love this part. Me too. I have strongly mixed feelings. Do you want to meet uh, Again, I, I conflicted for me. They mix the characters up with their personalities. Yes. They do. Okay. Yes, they uh, Hyde is not Hyde. Hyde is now Fez. Fez is not Fez. Fez is now Eric. Yeah. You know, it, kind of thing. Just that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. If you spend your time watching these episodes, you're like, okay. Which new character would be Hyde? Which one's Fez? Exactly, they're, exactly. Which one's all... going to be, you know, because there's, there's a hell in the, in the first episode. I'm going, okay, which I broke it down to which one's Hyde and which one is Kelso. And I'm still, after what, how many episodes? Ten? Ten, yeah. Ten. I'm going, I get it, I get it. But yeah, it just, it, 
it makes you sit there and go. Yeah. You can kind of pinpoint it, but for the most part, they did kind of interchange traits of each character with the new characters. So and of course, we don't want it to be you know yeah, identical, identical to what the original was. Right. But boy, they, whoo, Yahtzee, yeah. you know. Yahtzee! Gay. You suck! Just roll out the dice and yeah. see what happens, but it works. It works. That's a good point. I would say, I would say for my, my conflicted, I mean, you still have sex, drugs, there's even cursing. I mean, it's bleeped out. But, big but, and I cannot lie. Even white boys got the shout. Baby got back. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't, I was going there. I was. It still very much has this Disney Channel, watered down, silly, over the top comedy to it. Um, the best way I can describe it is the stakes never feel very high in this show. Yeah. And yeah. to have some of this kind of silliness well, it's vibe like a, in it, just. It, it's it's a new society, I guess. A little PC. And that's, oh. a, that's a conflicted because you're trying to tell this story in an age where everything's very much PC and woke. But in that time, it wasn't in the 90s. So you're, it's exactly. hard to. Exactly. So, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like they were like, well, that's too real. So let's yeah. take it off 20% of it. Yeah. Take 20% off the realness. Yeah of the, the the real world aspect of it right. you know it's like they just tried to trim it back and it was like the comedy went from hilarious to ah. yeah, yeah. but um, what are your negatives my house is full of shit he shit everywhere look what he did he shit all over the wall my negatives on it the new characters that have been introduced into it i have they're gonna have to grow on me they're gonna have to grow on me it's been 84 years. I mean, it's like they're slowly picking up on what's going to happen. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's if I can kind of... Yeah, well, you're more than welcome. That yes. was actually yeah. my biggest negative is miscasting. I mean, I, th there's no chemistry. I feel like there's no chemistry between them. And, and by comparison, that 70s show cast were all newcomers as well. Aside from Danny Masterson... Mm. And Mila Kunis, who had a few acting credits before the show, everybody else, I mean, Topher Grace, Ashton Kutcher, Off the Wilma street, Balderrama, here you go, they were, the yeah, they were newcomers. And you immediately, I remember when the show came out yeah. in the 90s. I remember watching, I was nine. I was 24. I mean, oh, I remember Marty. watching it and immediately you were like, oh. Got to see the next one. Next Got to see the next one. Can't wait for next the week. The chemistry with the cast was there oh, already. You were willing to sit through it. With commercials, it yeah. was so good. Yeah, they should have taken the ninety that ninety show and really pushed more toward. And they do a little bit, but they should have pushed more towards the way kids are, have been, and always will be. It's almost like they're trying to say, you know, well, we're gonna change it enough to where this is the way we want kids to be now. Yeah, yeah. But they do break away. Don't get me wrong; they break away. They get back into you know fun times and have some good yeah. times. But it's just, it's, it's just, I, I feel like I'm, they're under my thumb. It's still water, you know? it's watered down. Like it's said, just it's, watered down. It's watered you know? down. That's just my, that's, so that, that's my biggest thing is the cast. If, if they get a second season, they've already been cast. You're going to have to heavily rely on the legacy cast coming back. I think also what you're kind of saying is that it's the old adage of if you don't have anything nice to say. You know, they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Right. Well, if you can't make the comedy work. Don't use it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, if you can't bring it to the point where it's real and the the, the, the there's freedom of saying, hey, we're going to have some fun with this, and those who don't like it, fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, keep going. I don't know where that came from. Go, go ahead. Oh, I think there's a K in Knucklehead. As an example, yes. There's a character in the show that is gay. I yeah. don't think that that's a spoiler. I think no, you can see that yeah. in the trailer. Um, but there's something that he's dealing with, and that's about as high as the stakes get. It feels glossed over when I think yeah. you really could have delved into that and found some really good comedy in there. And that's exactly, again, make it comedy. Yeah. The world kind of sucks sometimes. You but, might as well yeah. laugh. But it feels like they're like, oh, I don't know if we want to touch on this, so we're going we're gonna to kind of bring it up. Dance and, around and, it. And dance around it and have something else going on. And yeah, yeah that's. 
it is what it is, you know. Um, so let's just get into it. What would uh, what would your jewel rating be? Your jewel scale. Well, I I give it a three, but with a little credit that I am still going to keep watching them because they're fun in the background. Yeah. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. You know, get up, do laundry, clean the house, do the dishes, maybe throw it on the background. But yeah, I give it a a three. I yeah. I, I mean I. I I just don't see it going more than three seasons yeah. on top of that. I would Unless be, they make some major changes. Yeah, if they make some major changes. I I would be surprised if they get a second season. I, I believe they are. And, and if they do, like I said, they are going to have to heavily rely on that returning legacy cast to really lift this show up. There's going to be a lot of, you know, freaking well, the directors. They know what they're doing. It's just I feel like they're being held back without against their will. Yeah. It's like the you know I can't say this I can't say this. let it just do what you did in the beginning the first time. So I would give it for me for my jewel rating I would only give it a two. So a two. So a we're two. we're pretty close we're pretty to close. each other on that. Yeah. You put it in the background if you have if it's like eh, maybe yeah. I'll give it another chance yeah. or for me there's some good quippy humor in it you know it's fun it's it's got some stuff but it's just I mean uh, let's face it why is the only reason why we're watching the show. Because we want to see the old cast coming back. We want to know where they've been at the last fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. You know that's why we came back. So yeah, I'd give it. I'd give it to. Um, so as far as you know, a verdict to to end this out, I'd say the nostalgia and the amount that they use the legacy characters, I think, would have been enough had they nailed the cast to really make you like it and not and forget about the legacy characters. But because they didn't nail it, it just makes you want to see them more. I just, it left me wanting to forget the newcomers and just bring back Eric and Donna. And I want to know what they're doing now because I didn't connect with the, the new cast. Watch them be parents with their kids instead of making it about the kids. Yes, yes. I, I like the show enough that I guess I will continue to watch it, but. Uh, I mean, uh, you started to say like what they should have done. What I would have done is I would have made Leia sort of like the Hyde character and she gets sent to Red and Kitty because she's in trouble. She's in trouble and you send them to who? The hard ass Red to Grand, straighten grandparent, her out. Grandparents on top of that so it's yeah. a family thing. And, and, I mean, well, that, that would have been totally be good. That would have been, to been good. Yeah. Out of the, yeah. That would have been totally different. Wow. Make her the Hyde character. Yeah. Because her yeah, dad was place. the geek. The dad, dad, Eric was the geek in the seven that seventy show. She's a geek in the night in that ninety show. But now, yeah, if she, she would have been a badass, it'd be like you know what happened to your child. I thought you were you know red. I could see red going. Yeah, you should have put a foot in her ass. Put a foot, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you should have put a foot in her ass. She's out of control. She's out of control. You know. Uh, that's what that's what I would have done. And also, that's it, awesome. Oh my god, it would have been a way to keep her in point place because in the show she's just there for the summer. This allows her to actually. Which I think is a plot hole. This allows her to be in point place, go to school with these new kids that she meets, but it's only for the summer. That's not a spoiler because they, no. they say it in the trailer. She's just there for the summer. Yeah. That's the route I would have gone, and I think that opens up more possibilities. Yeah, you, you got me thinking. Yes! Upset! All of you dumbass! <laughs> all right, all right. Um, hmm. So recommendations, obviously, that 70s show, the original. Yeah, definitely. Um, but if you're looking for sort of a reboot of an old show, I mean, there's Fuller House, which this actually kind of reminds me of Fuller House, you know, Full House. You know, again, Full House talked about some serious stuff. Fuller House came out and it was watered down. Um, we've also got Girl Meets World, you know, the spinoff of Boy Meets World. Uh, you've got The Connors, which was a spinoff of Roseanne. Again, all of these feel a little watered down. So, if you want a franchise that has been rebooted that is amazing, Cobra Kai. Dude, good call. Yeah, Cobra Kai. We should do a Cobra Kai. Oh, we, we've got to do a Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. Is by far the best. Now, it's, it's not a t it wasn't a TV show. It was a movie. You gotta see my karate yeah. moves. It's better than my robot moves. <laughs> okay. see my, you can see my kid, my littlest one. Mm -hmm. Man, dude, he gets in the stance, and I'm like, he's ready to go. Like, huh? Where'd you learn uh, all this from? Uh, I'm um, gonna kick you in the nuts. Bull. Error, error, error. Yeah. Uh. But no, it's by far the best 
type of reboot show Cobra Kai. that I've seen. Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. I totally forgot. Yeah, now I know what I'm going to watch when we get done with this. Yeah. Oh, Co- sit, sit back. Cobra Kai never die. Yeah. Yeah. No, that one. Yeah. What, I can't keep. Uh, don't get me gushing. Yeah. I'm going to give away our video when we yeah. do it. All right. All righty, guys. Uh, well, that's all I got. That's everything I can find. All righty. Well. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If we have earned your like and subscribe, please do it. Yes, please, please. Uh, don't forget to check out some of our other videos. I'll put some links up. And that's all I got, Johnny. That's all I am. All right, well, we will see you next time. All right, peace out, baby. Hey, that's my line, peace. Well, it's the 70s on that's this not, side. That's not, that's no, not you're, it's yeah, the 90s uh, over there. Over there, it's like, dude. Right. That's 80s, but yeah. Later, bro. Later, bro. Okay.